Now there's new evidence that otters are thriving in a river in Sheffield that was once thought to be the most polluted in Europe. Staff and volunteers from the Sheffield and Rotherham Wildlife Trust have tracked down the elusive animal thanks to a series of infrared cameras dotted along the River Don. The otterly amazing project <laughs> was paid for by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Mark Ansell reports. The otter is a nocturnal, shy species in an urban environment like the River Don in Sheffield. They're only captured on camera at night. But in years gone by, otters would be nowhere to be seen in this area. The River Don was considered to be one of the most polluted rivers in Europe. People who were around at that time said that the river actually ran yellow with pollutants. So it really was a terrible environment for all sorts of species, not just fish, but otters. So there were no otters around at that time. If you now look at it, the environment that we've got now, all of the conservation work that's been done by various groups, it's a fantastic system that supports around 30 fish species and of course otters. A team of volunteers have searched 16 miles of the River Don looking for the elusive otter. Thankfully, they found signs that the animal is on the up. Oh, wow, look, there we go. Oh, good oh, spot. Well, yeah. Awesome spot. Five toes. Yeah, five toes. It's not just otter footprints that have been recorded. Oh, fantastic. Right, so this, this is an otter dropping, what we call a spraint. So this is great, this is really fresh. So this indicates that otters are around here and they're visiting this area probably to uh, mark their territory for other otters that might be visiting. And a series of cameras have been installed along the River Don, which has led to more than 30 sightings of the animal. The black and white camera footage is on display at Sheffield's Western Park Museum, where there's also the chance to see the elusive otter in colour. Back on the River Don, the next challenge for researchers is finding out exactly how many otters are making the river their home. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.